Aloha friends, welcome to my newest series, Non-Needle Interventions for Acupuncturists. I'm your host, Haunani Chong Drake, founder of Chi and Prana, doctoral student at Pacific College of Health Sciences and an international yoga and Ayurveda educator and mentor. As you can tell, I speak fast. So remember, you can always use your settings below, right down there to adjust the playback speed and or add closed captioning. Let's get started. Today, we're going to discuss GERD, AKA gastroesophageal reflux disorder, AKA also known as acid reflux. According to the National Institute of Health, their diabetes, digestive and kidney disease branch, approximately 20% of the US pop population will have GERD at some point in their life. Crazy, right? That's a lot of people. You probably know someone who has it, not just your patients, but in your family. It can hit any age from babies all the way to elderly. Currently, diet modification to avoid trigger foods, weight loss if it's applicable, and PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, are the mainstream treatment for GERD. However, there is a growing number of people, uh -huh, our patient population, who are looking for holistic ways to manage and prevent GERD. While we know acupuncture is incredibly beneficial for treating GERD, today I want to focus on a non-needle intervention that may get overlooked, and yet it's so important for our patients for long-term management and prevention. Today's non-needle intervention for GERD is breathing. Yeah, breathing. Our source of chi and prana. More specifically, diaphragmatic breathing. According to research done by Kaiji and colleagues in 2020, which looked at seven studies, a total of 194 total study subjects or patients, they found that, quote unquote, breathing exercises can improve pressure generated by the lower esophageal sphincter, the LES, and a statistically significant difference was observed. The possible mechanism behind this is the enhancement of the anti-regurgitation barrier, especially the crural diaphragm, CD, tension. And no, this is not forced diaphragmatic breathing like you might do in Tai Chi, Yoga Asana, or Qigong. This is simply shifting from the sympathetic nervous system's thoracic breathing pattern to a more parasympathetic diaphragmatic breathing, like how babies breathe. So in short, diaphragmatic breathing can be used for managing GERD. Okay, there you go. I hope you found this incredibly helpful. Remember to just to subscribe, share this with your colleagues and leave your comments. If you wanna connect and collaborate with me, you know I love collaborations, go over to my website, chi and prana, Q-I-A-N-D-P-R-A-N-A.com and send me a message. We're stronger together. Have a beautiful day.